Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Maybelline color tattoo tutorial for you all. And it is on the color tattoo in Toughest Taupe. And I love this one. This is one of my favorites. I feel like I say that about so many of these color tattoos, but I have several that I just really like a lot. And this is one of those. Um, the look that I created today is something really smoky. It's pretty dramatic. I feel like this would be a perfect makeup look for going out like dancing, like going out clubbing, or maybe like if you're going on a hot date really late at night, this would be a really pretty look. Um, I just love the eyes. And today was like one of those days where I couldn't get this eye to be exactly like this one. I feel like they don't look exactly the same. Um, sometimes I feel like when I do these tutorials, since I go ahead and do this eye in advance, I feel like sometimes it's hard to get this one to be exactly like this one. But it's kind of having an off day um, getting my eyeshadow just right on this one. But anyway, I think it turned out pretty good. I really do love this look. I can't wait to wear this out sometime. And if you guys would like to see how I got this eyeshadow look, just keep on watching the video and I'm going to go ahead and get into the eyeshadow tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to... Whoa, I just made a bunch of noise. <laughs> So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put down this Tough as Taupe color tattoo from Maybelline down on my eyelid and I'm just going to use my finger to apply it and I'm just going to put it all over the lid and up into the crease a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to take this EO5 brush by Sigma, it's just an eyeliner brush, and I'm going to put some of this Toughest Taupe on this brush, and I'm just going to put it on the lower lash line. Now, I know normally when I do these tutorials, I use a lot of drugstore makeup, but today I'm kind of changing it up, and I'm using some higher-end products. Um, I would have used drugstore, but honestly, I didn't feel like I had a lot of good drugstore eyeshadows that went well with this Toughest Taupe. So, this color that I'm using today in the crease is this color right here, and it's a MAC eyeshadow, and it's in the color Copper Plate, and it goes perfectly with this Toughest Taupe. I do really recommend this MAC eyeshadow. It is a really good one. Like, it's a really unique color. I feel like uh, to find a good kind of matte grayish taupe like this is really hard to find um, so yeah I would definitely spend the money on this just because it is unique and then I'm just gonna use this Sigma blending e25 brush and I'm just gonna apply this copper plate color in the crease of my eye this brush is dirty because I used it to do this eye. I'm just gonna kind of wipe it off a little bit I'm just gonna go in with the pencil e30 brush by Sigma and get some of this copper plate color on this brush and then I'm just going to run that on the lower lash line. Okay next I'm going to go in with these two colors right here. This color here is a NYX Hot Single eyeshadow and it's in the color, I think it's in the color Whipped Cream. Yeah. It's in the color Whipped Cream. It's just a matte white and then I'm also going to go in with this color up here which is a Jane Single eyeshadow and this is in the color Magnolia. So I'm just going to mix these two colors together and I'm using the Sigma E70 brush and I'm just going to use that as my brow highlight. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and the shade that I'm using in here is just this blackout color, this matte black. So any type of matte black eyeshadow that you have will work. Um, I'm just going to use this palette because I'm going to use a couple other colors out of this palette to complete this eye look. So that's why I'm using this one. Um, and I'm just going to use this Sigma E25 brush. And then I'm just going to apply this to the outer V, just in small, really light circular motions. And then I do take it up into the crease. And I just do this until I get that black shade blended out. Okay, I know it still kind of looks rough. I'm going to go in with another color and kind of blend it out a little more. 
But before I do that, I'm gonna go back in with the pencil E30 brush and I'm gonna get some more of this blackout shade on there. Cannot see what I'm doing. Just a little bit, don't need a whole lot of it. And then I'm just gonna put this on the outer corner of the lower lash line. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe the E25 brush off on a tissue. And then I'm gonna go back with copper plate and just kind of help to blend out the crease a little better. So it's not so harsh where I put that black. Okay, now I'm gonna go back with the Urban Decay Naked 2, and I'm gonna go in with Tees, which is a really nice, warm, taupe brown. I don't know, like this color is a really, really unique color. It's in between like a taupe and a purple, um, and this will help to warm up the brow bone just a little bit since the other colors that I have been using are really cool. And I'm just gonna put this slightly above the crease but below the brow bone, like kind of between those two areas. And like I said, that will just help to warm up that area there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the inner corner of my eye, and I'm gonna use this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I'm just gonna put that here on this inner corner. So I'm just going in with the P86, and I'm just blending this out. Then I'm gonna go back in with my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and this color Verve, and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna use this Fergie Wet n Wild on the Edge Longwear Eye Pencil, and I'm just gonna line my waterline first. I'm gonna take it all the way into the inner corner. And then I'm also gonna take it on the upper water line or tight line. Now I'm gonna go ahead and line my upper, oops, sorry about that. I'm gonna line my upper lash line. And this doesn't have to be like perfect or anything cause I'm gonna go in with the pencil E30 brush and blend it out so it looks really smoky. And then I do wing it out. So like I said, I'm just gonna go in with the E30 brush the pencil E30 and I'm just going to blend out this eyeliner. I don't know. I feel like I had a lot better luck when I did my other eye than this eye. I'm just having like a weird left eye day. It's not working out quite as good as the right eye did. Okay, I am gonna go back in with a little bit more of this Toughest Taupe in the P86 brush. And I'm gonna try to blend out the eyeliner a little better with this. It's like, I feel like it turned out too thick on this side. So the eyeliner didn't turn out perfect on this eye, but whatever, it's like a smudged, kind of smoky look. Um, and now I'm just going to do my eyelashes and I'm just going to apply the Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara to my upper and lower lashes and then I'm going to curl my lashes and then I will come back and share with you guys what I used on the rest of my face to complete this makeup look. I will have all the products that I used on my face and on my eyes and everything listed down in the description box so you can expand that. But just to let you know what I used on my cheeks and on my lips, for my cheeks, ah, I'm I always drop crap. <laughs> I'm like the most clumsy person ever and I'm the most messy person ever and I drop everything and I bump into everything so uh, it never fails. I always drop something whenever I'm filming. But the two products that I used, for my blush I used this Smashbox Blush Rush and Flush and it's just a beautiful, it's kind of powdery, <laughs> it's just a beautiful light 
shimmery pink and since it is really light like it doesn't take away from the eye look since it is really intense but it does warm your cheeks up just a little bit and then for my highlight I use this Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter and this is a gorgeous highlighter if you're wondering where I get all my MUA products or where I got all my MUA products I actually got these in a makeup swap that I did with another YouTuber and her name is Olive Dumont. She's a really good friend of mine. Um, she sent me these products. I'll link her channel down below if you want to go check her out. But this is what I used as my highlight today. It's just a beautiful, light, like iridescent pink. It just looks so pretty on the cheeks. And then for my lips, I used this Wet n Wild Fergie lipstick. And it's in Fergie Daily. And it's just a really pretty nude. I love these Wet n Wild Fergie lipsticks. They're just really creamy. They're really long lasting. And this is a good nude because it isn't too nude to where you look like you're dead. But it does nude out your lips quite a bit, you know, when you do a smoky eye like this. I hope that you all did enjoy this eyeshadow tutorial. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you are new and you would like to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.